Hello, 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 and welcome back once more to the Rough Cut Golf Podcast. Yet to win any awards, but our trajectory is true and our hopes are high. But not only for the absolute adulation of the millions of people listening around the world, but also for the state of pro golf. It feels like my faith in the system has been restored. And to chat through that and many, many more things this week, I am joined by Mick, I am joined by Kieran, and of course, I'm joined by Jacob. Gentlemen, how are we? Wonderful. Happy to be back. Good to see Mick again. Yeah, it's been a very weird couple of weeks without you in the office. I was saying to Jacob, I didn't have anyone to annoy. (laughs) Like Sam was just like working. And David was just working. I didn't have anyone to like go and prod and poke and ask stupid questions to. So that's terrible. A lot of stuff got done. I feel awful for you. <laughs> Which was great. Are you okay? Are you feeling all right about I'm that? I'm feeling wonderful. That is wonderful. It's nice to have you back. Mm. Yeah. Nice to be back. Uh, for everyone who is uh, not familiar with what we've been doing over the past few weeks, we spent over two weeks in the United States of America. Uh, we have traveled from Myrtle Beach to Pinehurst to Harbour Town to somewhere else, back to around Pinehurst. And then Charlotte. ended up in Colombia. Yes. American Colombia, not Colombia, Colombia. Well, based on the conversation we had off air just before the podcast, <laughs> it could have been normal Colombia. There's some interesting characters <laughs> uh, around that area. Uh, but it was a, a fantastic trip. I think we've we already had a little bit of a chat about it. I think since we recorded the last podcast, we've done another podcast with the Brian Bros, which mm. we will kind of have coming out next week went to see their golf club, which is absolutely fascinating, the whole story behind that. Um, and played a few rounds there. Was there somewhere else we played? Was it Tobacco, Tobacco Road? Road? Tobacco yeah. Road, yeah. Never heard of it. I'm get, surprised get you to, didn't mention that first. That is, I, I must admit that. So th- this this trip, and kind of reiterate this, is we've, I've, I've ticked off like quite a few bucket list courses. So Harbour Town, that was one. This is Harbour Town hat, right? This is you got a Harbour Town hat. hat on as well. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Pinehurst number two. <laughs> I've uh, not got a jumper on. I am fully merched up. <laughs> you are. <laughs> I've, I've got, I've got a Save what? Goat Hill t-shirt on underneath. Do you know what? Over the days. last, over this year, you have gone deep on the golf merch. I'm, I'm just, I'm excited to, and also I'm, I'm getting a little bit older. So eventually my memory will start to fail. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> so I've got at home like a little hat wall. So when I wake up, I'm like, I don't remember that, but I'm sure it was lovely. Yeah. Going to Hill was great. You know, in 20 years or so, I want to look at my Tobacco Road hat and go, cool, yeah. that sounds nice. I didn't used to smoke, I don't think. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I was six under. Yeah. I mean, hey, video to come yeah, pretty soon. Isn't that also the beauty of video is that you can just go and watch them and then it will remind yourself that you have been? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's not the clothes just doing it. It's also <laughs> Listen, YouTube that, videos. I am, I'm, I'm very much aware that I'm going to need a carer sooner rather than later. Um, don't you have, isn't that David? Uh, no, <laughs> no, no. David's job. To look Absolutely not. No, I, I don't think he enjoys his role as a carer. I think that would be a continual thing of like, Pete would need David as a carer yeah. and then David needs his carer. Yeah, well, someone's got to drive David to the doctors. Exactly. And someone's yeah. got to remind Pete to answer his emails. Yeah, <laughs> kind of, David needs a physio before he becomes my carer. So the, the role is open, uh, if there are any out there. Yeah, yeah, get in the comments below and apply to be Pete's carer. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know what? I think we'll get a lot of applications. What um what things would they need to do that maybe the normal person would turn their nose up at or reject? Um, do you need daily foot rub. You t- need t- t- the the only thing I need, like, literally the only thing I need, is a steady supply of coffee. Like if, if you want to be a care of me, you just need to make seventeen coffees a day. I, I think people could do that. Doesn't feel healthy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's fine. Like, um, it's a short term short term role. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there for long. <laughs> I mean, I, I have actually become pretty pretty certain over the last two months or so, like to the point of being hundred percent, that my heart is only going because of caffeine. I think if I stop, like that stimulant will just just switch off my body. Your body will go, huh? It's like, that's what, I, I am, I think I actually died about six years ago, and coffee is the only thing that's kept me going. And if no, you don't keep topping it up, eventually yeah. you just <laughs> melt. Just eventually go. It's, it's just, what's, oh God, what's that film? Oh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. Because do you know what? There isn't a film about someone needing coffee so much to stay alive. However, we yeah. have been getting a lot of comments on YouTube about the level and detail of our film references. Mm. Um, They've been deep. We have been very deep recently. So apologies if you don't like Lord of the Rings, 
Harry Potter, A Knight's Tale, Pirates of the Caribbean. Pirates of the Caribbean is in there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of stuff gets referenced very, uh, very regularly. And if you haven't seen those films, go and watch them and yeah, then you'll you, know what we're talking about. You know what? No apologies. Yeah, if you've if, not if, seen them. If you've not seen those films. I mean, Harry Potter, I'm not a massive fan of. More of a book guy. But the rest of them, like, just, just go watch them. Like, then we can have this chat together. Yeah. You can stop us in the street and say, oh... Yeah, I like mountains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like wizards. <laughs> cool. <laughs> we could be friends. Um, so I, I, I was the one of us that didn't go on this um, United States of A trip. Um, tell me your favorite bit, each of you. Jacob, start with you. Wow. Um, I mean, we kept saying this whilst we were there, that even though you go for two weeks, that is kind of enough time for you to kind of acclimatize and get used to the place. But then actually when you look back, it, it's a lot. It's quite a lot of time because I've got hampered. I think playing number two and seeing the US Open venue in person, walking it, seeing what that course is going to be like, has not only made me more excited for watching it anyway, because I was, it's a major, but just to see how hard it's going to be. And I'm really hoping and praying this year it's going to be one of those level par winning scores. Oh, um, yeah. I love that. Because that's what you, that's, to me, that the US Open, I want that. The last time I really remember seeing that was Shinnecock, and that's, what, five, six, seven years ago now? They lost the course. They lost the course. They lost the course. <laughs> They're gone. The greens are gone. Anyway, go on. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> you, don't, you don't remember Zach Johnson's kind of interview no. afterwards? He just oh, came. yes. Go on. Yes. They've lost the course. Yeah, what? it's gone. What, a Shinnecock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. because it was so hard. Yeah, they've lost it. It's gone. Wow. That's what I want this year. I want the same thing. I want people walking off. And if it plays how it did and the greens are harder than when we filmed it, it could quite possibly happen. Mm. So I would say I'd say that was probably my favourite. And Pinehurst in general was just yeah. glorious. Kieran Mulhall. Uh Mine's probably like the, the thing that we can't talk about. <laughs> really at the moment um, oh my god yeah. I completely uh, forgot that that was the reason you yeah. went in the first place so you're talking about the queue at Myrtle Beach the queue at right, Myrtle okay. Beach yeah that, just like the whole experience of it the whole way it was run organised everything mm. you know just how much of a big deal this is so um, that's all I can probably say about it but yeah that was probably my favourite um, I think uh, do you want me to go next you can okay, be, that, you can be next cool, thank you yeah. um, I would agree I I don't know if this is sitting on the fence or just like painting the fences, but I actually agree with both these guys. <laughs> um, so every course we played at, like I said, there was a number of like um, kind of bucket list items ticked off. Pinehurst as a whole for me kind of just lived up to every expectation I had. Yeah. And I was really not worried, but I, I've kind of visualized this place so much in my mind that it was such a massive kind of relief and such a rewarding experience to be there when you get that payoff. Um, and also we have the issue of having to move there. <laughs> we, we, yeah, that's <laughs> happening. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. So where you were going when, with that. when we went back to Pinehurst, like, cause, cause we traveled around a bit, went back to Pinehurst a second time. We didn't realize that Pinehurst village is like a English feel village. Mm. It's not like an American spread out thing. You can walk around it. So that was like, oh my God, this place is even better than I thought. It wasn't set in a square, which yeah. always feels better. You know, it's always just straight roads and just yeah. like, like a saloon town. It, but it was, yeah. it had shapes and different, you know, it, was, it felt more English than it, American. Because that's, that's oh. one of the biggest issues I always have with like American towns at the time. They're so spread out that like it doesn't feel like you can walk anywhere. Yeah. Whereas Pinehurst, you could walk everywhere. Mm. And I, I made a mistake, I must admit. So we were walking from the car and the, the length of this is going to get different every, every time, time you I say tell it. Yeah. However. It's the fish thing. Yeah, it's the, it? the fish yeah, that yeah, keeps yeah, growing. Yeah, yeah. We got out of the car and I was like, all right, well, now I saw the village, all the little pubs there and the dining. I was like, oh my God, this is perfect. Right, okay. I made a decision. I had a chewing gum in my mouth. So I took the chewing gum out of my mouth and there was a bin about, uh, I, I would say it was at least 15 yards away, maybe 20, right? And it's yeah. the bin and, and that is without a joke. And the bin was an opening. It wasn't a rounded top, open top. It had like a slit in it. On about, the side? Yeah, about the size of a shoebox. Okay. And I was like, if I make this shot, I'm moving to Pinehurst. It didn't even touch the sides. It, it, yeah. It was... Nothing but net. It was bullseye. Lord. I'm, I, was, I was Luke Littler for a moment. I just <laughs> nailed it. And I was... 180! Like, <laughs> and I, I think we all just stood there in shock and being like, well, this has to happen now. <laughs> God's sake. 
I was, so yeah, Pinehurst were coming for you. But. And then he uh, proceeded to, we went to the pub, proceeded to then go on like the equivalent of right move and look at all the different properties, you know, from scaling from, you know, your one, two millions to your, you know, 200,000. You, you know so. what? I was surprised. Yeah. There are actually some houses there were out some, there. There some affordable do. options. Mm hmm. Which um, was a nice, but as far as calls wise, yeah, Pinehurst number two. Okay, if if it gets hard, mm. honestly, it could be fantastically brutal. At the back of the third hole, like they've, they've changed the course around a lot, but at the back of the third hole, it's like it's only a short hole, but it runs off. Now, if you miss the green, it'll run off. Fine, you think? Okay, I'll have a chip on. There's a certain area of the back of that green where if it runs off and it's hard, it could literally run off the back of the green onto the next hole and go down a hill about 150 yards away. Yep. No way. Or it could. You could be 200 yards away from the hole. I'm not joking. <laughs> and that hole that you play next is only a, what was it, 530 yarder? Yeah, yeah, up the hill to the left. Yeah, it's all right. Par, par, par four. Par three. Par four. <laughs> it's a par four. Wow. Honestly, it's it's it. I'm so excited. That yeah. was a uh, and that course has gone straight into my like my top ten. There's okay. a couple that sorry. Just, there's a couple that have gone into your top ten there as well, isn't there? Well, your top twenty. Um, I'm, I mean, I need a proper sit down. Yeah. So yeah. my next question was, how many of the courses that you just played jumped up in your estimations when you played them in real life and not just imagined them? Uh, yeah, number two. Number two jumped up. Number two jumped up. Number four jumped into existence, not really knowing much about it. Right. Um, Harbour Town kind of was it what I expected it to be. Right, okay. Uh, and Tobacco Road was... I, I need to think about Tobacco Road more because it's, it's not a real golf course. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's... You, you kind of stand there, you look at it and you're like, I don't... Un like... If you're used to playing a certain type of golf, you stand on the tees and you're like, I don't understand how this works. Mm. Where is it? Like what, like where does it go? Oh, right. Like what, you, there's a few holes, like we were doing the drone kind of uh, flyovers the night before, and Kieran was like flying over. And I would say over 18 holes, this maybe happened 12 times, oh where Kieran just looks up and says, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what this is. 100%. Not like, Number two is obviously is the one that most people will have seen the most times because it's been on TV a lot. You know, there's lots of great people have been out and filmed rounds around it. And, you know, the holes are lined by trees. Mm. So you're like, oh, it must go this way. <laughs> what was the difference with Tobacco Road that meant that you couldn't see where you were going? It just any anything else was in the way of where you thought you were supposed to go if you, there was a massive mound there was a sand mine mm. there was dams there was barrancas there it was just the the th the thing that got me is just how someone can stand on a tee and go yeah that look, yeah we'll go that way that looks about right they're like the to, to I can conceptualize like how they're going to make this golf course mike strands is the architect and just to have the ability, I don't know if the guy was a genius or just mental. Yeah, it, it's like it's like wavering. It's a very on fine like, line yeah. there, Jacob. It's like, which one was he? By the sounds of the, some of the stories that we heard, it kind of may have strayed onto he, the mental side of he, things. He but. was on the fence. <laughs> <laughs> he literally was on the fence. Rattling both sides. Yeah, the fence of sanity. But no, it was it, it was fantastic. And one of the best things about it was the ability to, like, probably what was the? I don't want to do any spoilers. The hole that hit onto the green and made made an eagle. What <laughs> hole? <was it>? Okay. <laughs> Spoilers, um, spoilers, so made an eagle. So it was like a massive right to left dog leg. But if you wanted to go for the green, you had to hit it over. It was almost complete waste area right up until the green. Whereas the right was this wild fairway with lots of humps and hollows, bunkers. <laughs> five iron. Yeah, yeah. So, so you could literally hit a five iron and have like a nine iron in. You could hit a three wood, have a wedge in. You could go for it. it and Which it is was, the best hole. Like That's the best. That's the epitome of like an amazing golf hole. Yeah. yeah. And, and then you get into the next hole, which is the par three. Now, if you think about what a par three is in your head as far as like the tee and ground. Okay, yeah. so you've got a green at the end. Yeah. And you've got tees which stretch from the back to the front. The further yeah. you go back, the... The further you the, and and sometimes also the harder the shot. Yeah, it's, right? it's a you might have more water to it, carry, for example. It's mm -hmm. kind of pretty standard, correct, isn't it? So, like, let's say front to back, from the back tees to the front tees, you maybe got maximum at most courses you play eighty yards, so yeah. maximum. Mm -hmm. So the hole after it had a tee box which stretched not from back to front but from side to side, and it was about one hundred and forty yards sideways. Sideways. Yeah. What? All over wasteland. So the, the green didn't was long and thin as well. The actual distance you hit didn't really change much. It was just like a different angle into the green. Yeah, I think that's um, I think that's very very smart 
because you could play the hole at the same distance, but the, I mean, it makes little difference for people of our standard who are like, I just want to get it near the green or on the green if possible. Yeah. But for the big boys, those type of courses will be like, oh, well, I need to hit a different shape or a different spin or I need to let this run out or I, I yeah. that stuff is so yeah, smart. It, it, it made me understand a little bit maybe more about course design. Actually made uh -huh. me want to appreciate it a little bit mm -hmm. more, yeah. understand it. I think because it asked more questions in, like you say, in how you can set up a golf course, it wasn't just as bog standard as just, oh, let's just take it further back to make it harder. Yeah. There's other ways that you can you can go about it. Even that 17th, like on the par three, like, okay, I don't want to go too much. I want everyone to watch the video, but like mm. that green, on that par three. The one where we got the hole in one? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> at, at a point was probably as thick as this table or at least as wide, but it was so, it was the same thing, wasn't it? It was like mm. 120 yards yeah. that way, either way, but it just a slither all the way wow. across. Yeah. And you could just put this pin anywhere across, wherever you wanted it to. Now this one did have different uh, tees on sort of different levels. And mm. I think that was kind of one of the characteristics of the different tee placements and markers and stuff at the course is it was because it was built on a lot of slopes and heights and things like that you could have the easier tees which were sort of down at the bottom but then you were hitting up where you know wind maybe was a bit higher and all that kind of thing so it was just a pure like mental case of a golf course Need perfect for yeah. youtube and and it, it, yeah perfect for you. that is a great way of saying it like when this video comes out i think there's gonna be a lot of people kind of thinking like, and I know we have a certain amount of kind of influence when we release videos. People see courses they're not seen before. Mm -hmm. Like we've had people messaging us saying, oh, I played here because you filmed there. Mm -hmm. This is going to be the one where like, I imagine we're going to get a lot of messages of people saying, I need to go yeah. and play. Mm -hmm. Because you can go from Pinehurst as well. You can go to Pinehurst, enjoy all of that. Like commutable. And mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Half an hour. Yeah, half hour, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Stay at our house. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we get set up. And Which, did you get Airbnb. the 200 grand one? Or did you get the one point something million one? <laughs> oh, there were, there were a few out there for about six million. Oh, were there? Yeah, right, they okay. were very tasty. We, we also learned that um, uh, Riggs from Barstool, he has a house down the second or first. Uh, down the second, yeah. Oh, left, 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 hand, left yeah. hand side. Yeah. Left hand side. What? Yeah, it's lovely as well. Sorry, third. Sorry, third. Third, third yeah. Mm. I mean, maybe not give his sort of precise his address away. away. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. His yeah. postcode's this. Right. Well, they all knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> 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 um, so Donald Ross lives there as well. He's dead, but he lives there. Snuffed it. <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> golf influencers, um, the Brian Bros. You met up uh -huh. with them also while mm -hmm. you were there. You played their golf course, which I believe is actually still under construction. Is that right? Yeah. As we were playing. Talk to me. I, I, I don't, honestly, so bear in mind, we're coming to this from a YouTube standpoint. Okay, so the Brian Bros, I mean, obviously Wes has won on the PJ Tour before. He's mostly doing content now. Uh, Georgia has been doing content, playing some mini tour stuff. He's had some decent success in events recently, but we're effectively talking about a YouTube channel. Mm. You, a golf YouTube channel. A very good one. A very good one. Yeah. Okay. So bear that in mind. There's a golf course nearby that had gone to rack and ruin. It was just, it was a disaster zone, apparently. Closed, like no one was playing on it. The design of it, they were saying wasn't very good, all the rest of it. Loads of trees, fairways were just sand pits. Cool. They had the idea of getting this golf club and transforming it into the best golf course in their area. And they got a local investor on board to kind of help them do it. Mm -hmm. Now, in my head, when I'm thinking of a YouTube project, like the things that we do, we've done some big stuff before, but it's all very, it's us in control. We do it and we can figure it out as we go. And it's <laughs> under a million pounds. Do you want to talk Plus. about the time that you cycled all the way down the country? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you about that. If you want to check out the uh, go YouTube go playlist, uh, A Fair Way Down, uh, cycle from the top of the country to the bottom, 1,000 miles, 20 days, playing 10 courses. It's no big. Um, 30,000 uh, pounds rate. Uh, it's fine. But the, the scale of the work that they're doing, it, I mean, we, we got there and they're, they're craning in a 75 foot bridge to go over this river to get to the other side of the golf course. Of course they are. Mm -hmm. And there's, there's hundreds of people working there to get this place ready. Do you know where else has got a bridge? Didsbury. <laughs> Continue. Has it? Yeah. Oh. What, over the M60? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not that. No. It's not quite that. So, so it's probably the about the same size. Yeah, yeah. Like so the same so some of the course was, was not open. Yeah, yeah, so we had 12 holes? 11. Uh, 11 holes. Um, and then over the, the pond, which was a lake, they've got the other yeah. kind of course, the other back, the back nine, basically. Yeah, it was essentially one to 10. 
and then 18 of what is going to be 18 mm. of the and all really really good holes it was it was just so funny like we we, we played there if what turned into three days in a row we went we properly filmed twice and then me and kieran managed to knock it around whilst they were filming the podcast which was quite fun um and we went one day and on the sixth which is their sort of signature hole par five down the hill it's got the water tank which they've kind of used as their their yeah. logo mm-hmm. and over the back of the green the first day we played was basically torn up wasteland hadn't got any grass on it second day we played it brand new grass had been laid <laughs> and it was just the same thing that was going on the whole time it's just people were coming down just popping down grass and letting it there you go that's down move on to the next hole building this building that they're putting a new uh, restaurant and things in they're going to build a new short game area new members bar pro shop it's just and I, it, we kept saying it the whole time we just like we want to go back in a year year and a half two years and really see it for what it's going to be yeah. I think they I, were so excited about it and that, of the way they were talking to us of how it's going to be used as well like yeah. they want it to be a youtubers filming destination like you can come and if you want to play it backwards you can play it backwards if you want to pick the pin positions for the for your round you can do that they want to make it this kind of place where everyone can come together mm. and it makes it so much easier as well as we obviously have been speaking about doing these youtuber events and things like that yeah. if we own a golf course we could just do it there it's just easy mm. just get everyone down it's exciting it's so good to coming see. coming soon the youtube rider cup that everyone's been bloody talking about for years and years and years it's, yeah more and more possible now imagine getting off the plane <laughs> just with the with the European lads just coming over and just boom, here comes the y'all don't really want it now in slow motion. <laughs> you've got your sunglasses on. Listen, conversations were had. That's all you're going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Um, speaking of getting off of planes, when you um, get on a plane, <laughs> that was good. That was beautiful. Um, I've been practicing while you lot have been away. <laughs> That's what you've been doing. <laughs> Have you just, Lauren's just given you two like yeah. situations. She's like, so blend them we're going to talk about squirrels and we're going to talk about the US constitution. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I actually don't know if I could do that one. No, it's a bit tricky. Anyway. Um, you turned left. Talk we, me through what the heck happened. Uh, well, there's photos, aren't there? Can you put, if there's a photo, can we yeah, stick yeah, this? Yeah, I've got some photos. Yeah, 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 stick the photos up. Kieran pressed a lot of buttons. You turned left. So... This was actually a little bit annoying. So we reached the end of the trip and I was, was right. I was ready to go home. I was like really, really ready to go. I must admit. Um, and we got, <laughs> we got to the airport of Myrtle Beach. There's a connecting flight through there to Atlanta, then back to Manchester. Mm-hmm. And the flight of Myrtle Beach, it was delayed a little bit. Then it was delayed a little bit more. And then it was delayed, delayed, delayed until we were going to miss our connection. Five hours it was delayed. Excellent. Which was really annoying because I really wanted to get home. Um, and I mean, we had a great time in Middle Beach Airport, met some really cool people, mm. got a little bit tipsy, got on the plane, got to Atlanta and they said, right, okay, we can't get you on. So we're going to put you in this hotel for the night, which was pretty nice. Lovely. And then the next day you'll catch the same flight time-wise that you were meant to yesterday. So it's right. a full day. 24 hours. 24 hour delay. Good. And anyway, they said, well, Kira noticed this as we were kind of getting onto the plane, that the lady, because it had been such a delayed flight, put us on upper class tickets on the delayed flight. Kayla. Kayla. Lovely, Shout lovely out Kayla. Lady, Kayla. Shout out Kayla. And quite, quite frankly, She'll be listening. I was in a bit of a mood, so I didn't believe Kira. I was like, you're just saying it to try and improve my mood. Oh uh, yeah, I went up to him, because I was like the last one to get on the plane, and I said, I imagine you've had some pretty horrible, like because there was people that were shouting, some guy was meant to go to South Korea, oh, you yeah. know, like there was some, in, in that situation, you know, people want to get places and unfortunately couldn't go there. So I was like, you know, I bet you've had a pretty horrible time, but you're doing a great job. And that's when Kayla said, uh, yeah, we've put you on to upper class for that. And I should have, I, like thinking of it, I should have not told you guys. I should have not, I shouldn't you, have said anything. You should have, because when we got to Atlanta, we, we went to the help desk to try and sort it out for the next day. She said, all right, we can't issue you tickets now. That'll be done by Virgin tomorrow. And at that point I was like, well, well they're not going to put us in upper class, are they? Stomped off. <laughs> oh, God, so he was, yeah, he, oh, I, he didn't say much. I, 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 day, I did you? I, I had one on me. Not yeah. angry. I was just like, oh, just mm. hopes raised. Yeah, and I, killed. do you know? Do you know what it is? You, you are most of the time. You are really amiable and very easy to adapt. Thank the you. time that you turn into the Tasmanian devil is travel. Travel that goes wrong. Yeah, you forget your bag. Security takes too long. There's no coffee. 
I'm, you know, I, I think I'm an absolute delight to travel with. Though, yeah? If I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you, right. I think I'm absolutely fine. I'm always amiable. I never lose. I never get angry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't want to say angry, but you can just tell. You can tell that you you you're tired when you're tired uh, and, and grumpy I was and tired. travel. Yeah, that I, was, yeah, I was tired. I was yeah. a bit. But Kieran is always like that. <laughs> so I imagine that chatting up the lady at the thing probably went particularly well because. You can't really say no to Kieran in that situation. <laughs> he was the man we needed to send yeah, in for that exactly. situation for sure. Yeah, but yeah, we got to uh, got to the ticket desk the next day, kind of sorted everything out, and yeah, got the tickets, and we were right yeah. at the front. We went, to, went into a lounge. Yeah, went to a lounge. Okay, we yeah. took full advantage. Of it. <laughs> yeah, Good we, lad, yeah. Hey, absolute. Kieran took full advantage absolute, of it. Absolute, like we, we game get... zone now. <laughs> <laughs> Four plates, a soup, two brownies. Eight beers. <laughs> <laughs> and a partridge in a pear tree. That was the first hour. <laughs> did it. We got, oh. there, we got there early to make sure. And halfway through, we were sat there. Kieran comes back and says, oh, good. can you guys go up? The barman's looking at before they <laughs> <laughs> Perry was like, oh, did they, are you sure you need another one? I'm they, cutting you off. Do they have that rule where it's one drink per person per trip to the bar? Two. Two, two right. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they, it's were right. only, they were like half pints, weren't they? Yeah, yeah they when we got through them. Yeah, well, it's, and it's the first time that I've ever wanted to board the plane as soon as you can board because I just wanted to experience like the whole time yeah. of what it was like. Yeah. Would this you like great. champagne on arrival? I think I would. Thank you. You know what? Not this time. <laughs> <laughs> Not for me. <laughs> Water. I, I never get champagne when I'm in when I'm in first class. I never get champagne. No. no. Not this time. The, Not the, uh, the woman who oh, was no. No. The, I, wom the woman who was next to me on the plane always went uh, business apparently. She was chatting to the guy. Oh. I leaned over him. Had a word with her. I said, don't spoil this for me. Yeah, come on. <laughs> yeah, act like you're enjoying the situation. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Don't, be I'm, as excited as I we are. I must admit, I was kind of like treading on the line of, do I, I wanted to be as little as I've never done this before uh -huh. as possible. Yeah. At the same time of, I have never done this before, yeah. so I don't know how to act. Yeah. So the whole time I'm there kind of like, I take the champagne of like, you know, I've got, yeah, I'll do this all the time. Thank you very much. Yeah. And then as soon as like, she, there. as yeah. soon as she puts the bed flat, I'm like, oh, Oh my <laughs> God, this is incredible. It would be like if you went to play the old course and the caddies weren't excited for you. Mm. Like you're playing it for the first time and the caddies are like, this is the first mate, just hit it down there. Yeah. yeah. It's not, what? The not the best course you're going to play. Yeah. <laughs> Bit flat. <laughs> cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. I see these boys though, um, honestly, like they, so the beds when, the, the, so the beds confused the crap out of me because they didn't fold out, like the back folded forwards and then there was a bit behind that was flat. Mm. It doesn't make any sense, and I still can't quite figure it well, out. It's not. It's not. So, hold on, do you have to get out of the bed in order to yes. put it flat? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's not like. Yeah, it right. didn't just go straight back. Yeah. So, anyway, I got out, and the, the air hostess very kindly helped me. She took pity on me a little bit. Yeah. She's like, You look old and miserable. Yeah. Let me help you. <laughs> so, I was, anyway, got sorted. Where out. have you been? I can't remember. Hang on. Oh, Pinehurst. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Great throwback. Well done, sir. <laughs> Clap Jacob in the comments. Uh, Good uh, work. I don't know if you know this, but I've uh, played a Pinehurst. <laughs> And at Alta, uh, and at Go Hill. Anyway, um, saw it out. I, I, I didn't really sleep that much on the plane. I couldn't really get comfortable. I got out of my seat, went to the toilet. I, n I honestly thought these two might be dead. <laughs> <laughs> it was all part of the game plan. It's all part of the game plan, that. Yeah. They, they were so still. Yeah, but eight, the th let me like, think I, about I, it. Right? I almost eight, shook the foot <laughs> yeah, to eight, make sure. Eight beers. Plus and then two on the plane. Plus two beers on the plane, a champ and two champagnes. That's you knocked out for t for eight hours. God, the, the thing is, like the, these two sleep and, and three course meal and three course yeah. meal. Yeah, yeah. Ah. And the and the complimentary massage. Yeah, and all that. Yeah. Well, you yeah. get pajamas, but I saved them for my mum. <laughs> <laughs> the, of course, you did. When you, when you go down, obviously, like Jacob and if you ever, I, I don't know, in any situation where you get to see this, but Jacob and Kieran sleep incredibly different. <laughs> I've slept in rooms with both of them, and I know the differences. So, so Jacob kind of lies down, like hands across his chest, like he's the vampire. <laughs> yeah, he sleeps like yeah. he's in a sarcophagus. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. So he, he he was in there. He was set, and yeah. like he, he was fine. And then, he, but Kieran, like Kieran, looks like a completely different person when he's asleep. <laughs> no, 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 hold on, he looks like a completely different species. <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never seen anything like it. Like you'd expect David Attenborough to come across him in a nature documentary. <laughs> like, There's just yeah, a load of him on a beach. Is Kieran the lesser spotted sleeping in a cave? And I kind of looked over and on, I was, because like I snore a lot. Kieran is a pretty big snorer as well when we sleep. But you weren't making any noise. Like your mouth was open and it was just 
still. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, it yeah. was kind of like... I've sat next to it a few times. Yeah. I was like, is it? he... A, is he... A, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is he okay? I thought, I'll leave it. And then if he don't wake up when we get back, it's yeah. fine. I'll, I'll panic if he doesn't get up when yeah. the plane lands. Exactly. Yeah. At, at this uh, point, I've got a favourite Kieran sleeping position. And then that's when he puts his knees up. And he has his... He, so he actually has his legs like up. By his feet and his like you know like knees up here. What? And like sit there. It's incredible. Yeah, that, that's why I didn't sleep yeah. as well because my leg was dangling out like the side of the bed, mm. and I was just about getting to sleep. And like one of the kind of hostesses came past and like knocked into my leg, actually lifted it into the bed like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. It tucked you in. <laughs> she like she came back and knocked it. So I like I kicked the side of the bed and I kicked the side of the bed. And you know like when. It, I think it doubled up with like when someone, when you step off a curb in your dream. Oh, yeah. It kind of doubled up like that. Like one too many steps yeah. on a mm. flat I think I went about two foot in there. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just like did a jump up press. Are we experiencing turbulence? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't go back to sleep now. <laughs> Good but it was uh, it was a fantastic experience. Thank you. Uh, oh, it was amazing. Thank you for thank you, thank you, messing up our flight and booking yeah. it on top of the class. Yeah, it must have been nice. Um, <laughs> and we'll end it there. Let me think. Mm, How are you going to do it's this? It's going to be... It's going to be kind of tricky. We've got, we got some big news and Mick's going to segue into it. He's going to slip into this like he did the last, like a little otter off the shore. <sighs> God, I'm stressed now. <laughs> this is pressure. It is. Golf bit of challenge coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Do you know what? That was perfect. That's a 10 out of 10. Um, yeah. So after uh, weeks of negotiations, uh, the golf bit of challenge is back on. And funded uh, by Piff, incredibly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we are. It's Brooks versus Tiger. <laughs> Just imagine they went that way. Oh my God. Uh, and we are, yeah, we are back. Golf bit of challenge. Uh, the game, the match is on Friday. Club selection and match all in one day. Uh, we are playing where it all began at Burr Hill. Oh, I didn't know. Uh, where so, we were yeah, the first place we did the golf for the challenge, we we're going to be back there. It's myself and Rick picking the five hundred pounds worth of clubs into which we are going to do battle. Well, I say battle, destruction. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly don't know if he's going to survive this emotionally. Cool. Ooh. How many holes are you getting through? Thirteen. Doing him in thirteen. Let's say fourteen, because eventually through this match, like there's something that's going to kick in in me that's going to be like, just Pete, just let him. It's all right, stop, stop beating. Yeah, take your foot off his neck. Yeah, so he don't, he don't need this. Bless him. Yeah. I think when I see a tear slip from his eye, I think that's when I'll stop. I start to feel sorry for him, mm. oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, last year you were free up with like four to play, five to play, so you need to yeah, just yeah. make sure that you keep it this time. You know well. What I mean? I, I'm kind of. I am interested to see what it's actually going to be like, because like Rick is a Rick is such a streaky golfer. Like if he generally gets off to a good start, he'll play well. Yeah. And last year his his irons were great. Last year mm. he struck it really really well. I mean I put it atrociously with that putter he chose me, but he kind of slipped off with the putter near the end, which kind of gave us the chance, and it it ended up in a half. So mm. it's all to play for this year. I, I kind of hope it is that same kind of to and fro match because it was really like exciting it was really intense last year mm. it was yeah it kind of got to the end and everyone was like oh it, the last hole was yeah you could feel it yeah yeah you could, you could actually feel and, that, and that's what you wanted to be like because you know yeah we youtube videos a lot of it's like oh you know just play match play around a good time but this is a bit more like this it feels like because we've done it for so many years there's like mm. something on it mm. yeah and i'm pretty mm. sure overall we're like tied in matches pretty sure we are so definitely, like definitely, definitely you've got to be close. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. So it's like it. Liverpool versus um, Man United. Sort of like you know, two big, big guns going at it. Did you Did you want to bring that up? Two, I did, two, well, no, I just wanted to slip it. <laughs> Hold on, do you mean two teams that aren't going to win the league? Uh, you, one might. <laughs> no, <laughs> might. No, you know what? I, th I think it's probably more like United with Rick. And yeah. then maybe me being Arsenal. Like we're doing some good stuff recently, but actually realistic. We're not one out for quite a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. That was very yeah. northern of you. Well done. Thank Se you. Second, second place out. doesn't really out. <laughs> second place doesn't really do anything for yeah. you, does it? Ah, oh, top four. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. No, that's oh, okay. That's like really that. oh, that's it's truthful and hurtful at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'll get second this year, you'll be right. <laughs> what me in the golf of the match no 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 I'm about Austin. I thought you were talking about him and all oh, no, um, no, is no. it going to be a twist this year uh, no 
So no no. him shafting you with the putters? (laughs) No. With the centre shafted? The centre shafted. He centre shafted me with the putters. You didn't even mean that, did you? No. No, but no, exactly. No, yeah, there's there's going to be no no thrills this year. It's so. like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna pick each other's drivers, and he gets you ladies flex left handed. <laughs> Power can, pod. <laughs> I could make it work. <laughs> well, I believe with the way that you're driving the ball right now, I believe you probably could. To be honest, that, that that's the only thing I'm a little bit worried about coming out of that driver. Yeah, and yeah. I've, oh, I've, yeah. I've become like um, could institutionalized. I use, could I use all 500 pounds of mine? Honestly, it's one not the worst challenge. idea. <laughs> if I get that driver and a wedge, <laughs> I could I could make it work. Just the four club challenge. Yeah, I could. I could. I'm, I'm, I had a look at uh, how like much it was potentially <laughs> what I could do last night, and it's very much the the irons. I think are the the bit where I'm going to probably make the most saving because all, all, right, okay. all I really need is a good driver, mm. a putter I like, and I can make the middle bit all right. Maybe a Vokey wedge. Just yeah, get yeah. just get some just forgiving irons again. Just get something that will help you a little bit. You've got to go. You've got to go for that Pinned. road. Go yeah, maybe like go. very similar to the blueprint. Maybe like an I twenty or something. Well, like I, that. There's, there's quite a few I irons that I've been yeah. kind of yeah. eyeing up. <laughs> good again. Good lord, yeah. we're good at this today. But also, I've decided this. Year, so shaft wise is always the big problem with irons because like not a lot of people trade in irons with like X stiff shafts. Mm. <laughs> They've got these Project X one hundreds in it. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going <laughs> to slow down my tempo this year and I'm going to get like a stiff flex and I'm just going to load it a bit differently in the downswing so I can get a wider choice and then save a bit more money folks God it's so tactical and I love it God uh, you're going aren't you uh, yes I think so I don't know (laughs) I I think so yeah I'm actually not taking it I'm hiring outside help (laughs) I I want it to remain a secret that's also really hurtful Um, no I think yeah I am can you yeah, oh yeah, I'll do yeah. the same, yeah. 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 Last year Jacob gave us live text commentary as to how it was going and we were all sat in the office like <laughs> furiously. <laughs> that's yeah, yeah. It was unbelievable. Yeah. I think we'll have to sign some NDAs actually this time. Really? Yeah. It's all the it's all the rage. Yeah. It's all the rage. <laughs> can't, can't reveal the results. Yeah. You're not allowed to tell us how you played around Pinehurst number two either. Oh, I can tell you how I played. If you want. Not no, now. no, save not it. Now. Save not it. Now. I wonder I wonder if that's gonna get out. I wonder if the Myrtle thing someone it just feels I, so hard I'll, for it I'll, not to be kept. I'll tell everyone right now. Well, you didn't sign NDA. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's like, to be honest, I, I don't think it will. Yeah. Like, no, I don't think it will. If you th- it, because everyone's kind of in the same boat and everyone, I think, appreciated the amount of effort that went into it. Yeah. I think everyone's like, you know what? Fine. Just, we'll just wait. Yeah. Our video is going to be good though. Our video gonna is going to be, cool. be amazing. Very good. Um, speaking of amazing and very good, Scotty Scheffler is the best. Uh, yeah. $8.5 million in two weeks for the man. Cool. That will do. That will do. You had that many pints in two weeks. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that would be some going. <laughs> that would be some going. Yeah, so this week was the, the Players' Championship. Some would call it the fifth major, but probably not anymore, to be honest with you. Um, and Scotty Scheffler won again. Uh, Two times, two weeks. The Honor Palmer invitation on this one. This one, he wasn't... I, I think he was less expected to win this one because of the injury to his yeah. neck on yeah. the second round and the fact yeah. he started quite a few strokes back going into that final round. Yeah. I mean, going into it, odds-wise, I don't think I've ever seen someone so low in terms of in terms of betting-wise because it's just how dominant he's becoming. I mean, we all knew that as soon as he sort of learned how to putt and he didn't even need to be you know, middle in mean, middle of the pack, you would be fine. He oh, didn't yeah, even yeah. need to become a top ten putter. And obviously, that that mullet that mallet putter has come in now. And <laughs> mullet that putter. Mullet, that mullet that putter. Would be a, <laughs> imagine Scotty Scheffler with a mullet <laughs> with that beard. Maybe the next thing. Maybe oh, that's what he's doing. Beard be growing good. out. Must mustache then gets yeah. shaven and then mullet. Oh my yeah. God. Feet all over the place. Party. I mean, the back. as our in-house Scotty Scheffler hater. Yeah. How how are you feeling at the <laughs> yeah. moment? Yeah. Um, I don't. I don't hate him. You just hate his swing. I hate the fact, and they did a very good um, job of explaining how he's so efficient with such a wild follow-through mm, action. Which was even more exaggerated, this Yeah, this because, of, because of the neck. Yeah. I don't hate him. I think he's probably a lovely person, albeit lacking some sort of, you know, extended personality. You know, he's a very focused, golfy family man, which is fine. I just cannot bear to watch his swing because mm. I like, I like watching... 
Fleetwood and I like watching Adam Scott and you know the boring beautiful swings I don't the 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 hands and the, <laughs> the legs everywhere I'm like how do you make it do that thing yeah. how does it go so straight and so far and so controlled when you look like you're completely yeah, lost that's, I think that's the thing isn't it it's just how his miss is only like 15 20 yards mm-hmm. you never see him hook slice or like anything like that it's just I don't understand how he does it I think the the, the scariest thing in many respects is that Right now, at this moment in time, so we're talking about him learning to put, and the stats last year showed that if he put it, like I said, middle of the pack average, he would have won about 13 times last year. <laughs> he won all the majors. <laughs> it, it, it was just a joke. Yeah. And, and this year, all of a sudden, he's kind of learned how to put, and he's still striking it as well. So he's striking it now as well as Tiger was in his 06 season, which is statistically the best ball striking season of anyone that's ever been on the PJ Tour. Yeah. Now that is ridiculous. When you draw it back to the fact, he does look like an octopus on an ice <laughs> rink. <laughs> it looks so out of control, doesn't yeah. it? But it, it's so weird. Yeah, I think they, they, they were telling a story about when they were analyzing his swing and saying, this is like, he, he manages to get the club face square in such a way that means that it doesn't really matter what happens after the the contact because the ball's already gone, which mm. is fine. Yeah. But they were saying that the reason he's got like that is because when he was growing up, he wanted to play with the older kids. And the only way that he could hit it as far as, the, as them was to, you know, like throw really himself throw into himself it. at the ball and do this kind of like weird contorted follow through and the shuffle of the feet and stuff was the only way he could hit the ball as far as the older kids at the, at the golf club. So it's just stuck with him. I, I, think, yeah. with the, I think with these feet as well, I mean, they do move during the swing, but like Mick just kind of alluded to there, like most of the movement happens when the ball's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, so I can watch him all the way up to impact. <laughs> yeah, just, just blink and shut your eyes. I have an extended blink and just wake up when you see the shot tracer going again towards the pit. Straight down the fairway, yeah. But yeah, now he's learned to put and he's still world number one. I can't see him moving from there. And it's not like he's having a freakishly good ball striking season. He's consistently that good now Mm. Mm. which is a massive massive worry because this time as well he came from behind if you think about Scotty Scheffler I don't imagine someone who's like a a real dog you know someone who's going to like tear at people's calves and overtake them and stand on top of the pedestal after the round is done but that's kind of what he did yeah yeah and he did it in a way which was like came back from far as well yeah it was like wow 64 on the last day battling an injury all week winning twice in two weeks establishing himself world number one like he is literally playing Tiger Woods golf right now and you know when well, we, the, the video game yeah, <laughs> literally Love I mean, game. we've all been saying for, we've all been saying for ages we've all been wanting this player to break out and become that Tiger Woods style dominant force because when Tiger did it it was exciting and it was new and it was like oh you know you had someone to root for who was just so good Scotty's kind of in that zone now and he, for the first time, I think, really kind of certainly won me over. Like, normally I'm not really rooting for him because he didn't really excite me that much. Mm-hmm. But this round was like, I really wanted him to come through. Yes, I watched a lot of it. Um, I would say that, weirdly enough, I, was, I, I wanted Wyndham Clark to win. Um, really? Yeah. Big Wyndham man. I don't know if I'm a big Wyndham man, but then it comes down to which of those two swings would I rather watch. Um, <laughs> Wyndham Clark's is much nicer looking yeah, it's lovely. than Scheffler's is. Um, but the real man that I wanted to do well was Matt Fitzpatrick because we've never had an English winner of the Players' Championship mm. and he removed the weight from his driver <laughs> and suddenly you- found... I saw his stats was like 0.3 strokes gained off the tee while he had this weight in there and then he went to like 3.6 when he took the weight out again. It's, a, it's unbelievable, isn't it? It's a, it's a very weird thing because mm. if you think about what Matt Fitzpatrick's approach is to golf, yeah. he seems so analytical, he seems so like switched on to everything to have that not in his kind of mind about what, because he said in the interview, he was struggling for a while, he was trying to figure out what it was, he analysed loads of data and it was just this grip, uh, the weight that was in the grip that was kind of potentially causing all these issues. It just seems really weird. But yeah. the, I think the last day he had a bit of a comeback at the end, but he kind of dropped out of contention yeah. quite quickly. Mm-hmm. You know, it was between him, it was between Clark and it was between Harmon. Um, and Shuffler. And Shuffler, and Shuffler, and Shuffler yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, and everyone, 
what was really exciting about this event is that every single one of the chasing pack uh, had to catch Sheffler with like three holes to go. Mm. And they all had a chance to get into the playoff. Yep. Like everyone had that chance and everyone fell slightly short. Clark, I mean, to be honest, I think Shoffley kind of was the one who probably feels the most gutted. Yes. Because he had a couple of late bogeys and missed that put on 17, which you'd back him to hold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it, it just, you could see at the end in his eyes, he was just, it was, an, it was just, he wasn't annoyed. He was just sad. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't go the way you want it to go. It like for for no one more this weekend than Wyndham Clark. Mm. Oh, <laughs> that <poor. laughs> that lip oh. out is just heartbreaking. When when I see it in real time, it doesn't strike me as as gut wrenching. It's the slow mo, which always looks worse in slow motion. Yeah. But like it's in the hole. <laughs> the freeze frame. Of I it, don't right? understand. Yeah, yeah. It is it is underground, <laughs> and it and it still came out. Like it's different. remarkable. It, I actually saw the, have you seen the alternate angle, like looking out from behind the grave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not going to say he deserved it to lip out, but it, it was it was tracking. Mm. He pimp stepped. Oh, did he? He, oh. he was about, he, what the warning thing, he pimp stepped, was about to raise the put, give the big fist pump, saw it breaking a little bit more, stopped, double down on it. <laughs> so it was like a hesitating fist pump pimp step. And then it lipped out. And then it was like, oh. So he called his own shot too early. Yeah. Like, oh, you could no. see, like, you could see when he stepped initially, it just caused the putt to break <laughs> just a little bit more. It's a little known fact. So his thumb. If you, if you, I bet the thumb just on the like ground. Moved if you step too oh. early, it'll. Never goes in. <laughs> miss, you'll miss your putt. Now, we played golf the other day. Um, us three, uh, you were recovering from the, you know, the flight debacle. These two were like, now nah, we're getting up to play early golf. Straight so we went, playing, went, play play, golf. went to play Formula Ladies, which was excellent. And Kieran did the opposite. He, <laughs> yeah. he birdied a hole. He hit his putt and goes, oh, yipped that completely. 40 foot out. 40 foot out, <laughs> dropped straight in. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't know, like, I've never seen me. someone come out of a birdie I'd love putt so to see quickly. A slow mo that honestly through it, I went like that. <laughs> I went like that, and I yipped it. So I obviously how misread, it. misread it. Yeah, yeah. I obviously misread it. And it rolled. It, then, it rolled into the middle. <laughs> yeah, right in the middle of the hole. <laughs> and we were all like, how, how <laughs> "I don't think that's allowed." I, I apologise straight after. I did apologise. <laughs> That's, it, that's even worse. Yeah. To be honest with you, I thought if that's just incredible mind games, then I just rate it so much. You've yeah. just hit the perfect punt and gone, oh, I've yipped it. That was for the third birdie in the row. Just saying. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> one, one of the other like more remarkable things about this whole this competition and how it finished up is that Clark finished second and Scotty finished first back to back weeks. Yeah. So, which is like, and they said mm. they were like, it's, 50 years plus it's like never happened I think it's, uh, it's Justin Ray yes I think Justin yeah. Ray basically had a, in, you can't kind of trust him on all stats things because he's like a I don't know like a computer I think but he kind of come out and said like he's researched into it and he, as far as he's aware that's never happened before it's crazy back isn't to it? back first and second yeah. yeah wow which is wild I mean listen I, I kind of feel a little bit sorry for Clark with that lip out but I know Scotty's made um, a lot of money. Eight, yeah. What was it? 8.5. 8. 8. 8.5. 8. 8. Yeah, 4 million for the Bay Hill, 4.5 for this. So I think Wyndham's probably made about 4 million. He'll, he'll be okay. okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm not worried about him. Just wiping his <laughs> with $100 bills. I'm not worried about him. I'm, I'm kind of slightly worried about Harmon with his waggles. He's still out there. He's still, <laughs> still waggling. So the, the thing that confuses me about it is like a waggle before you play, a lot of people do. It's just like a little movement at the club back. What worries me about his is he waggles and he looks up at the target, but he looks up so quickly, there is no chance that he can lock on to what he's looking at. Yeah. It is it's impossible. Like unless he has the eyes of a Mongolian hawk, like he is not gonna be a very good eyesight. He's not I don't know. He's not gonna be able to like lock on to what he's looking at. So it's kinda like is that? Yeah, however, that is probably why he has to look so many times. Yeah, just to confirm. He's like, he's like this is him over the ball. Again, I'm going I'm to look at the hole. Oh, didn't see it again. Didn't see it one more time. Oh, <laughs> should I do it 20 times? Yeah, and it's just like getting like a little Boring. bit too long. Yeah, yeah. And because he was in contention and the cameras kept cutting to him early, like you got to see the whole thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in, in fairness, it, it's one of those things where he can turn around and say, 
I've just finished kind of joined second in probably the biggest tour event of the year. Like yeah. I don't really see a reason One I need to change. Yeah. Yeah. His um his his reasoning behind it is his body won't let him and I'm sure we all have like a trigger. Oh, like yeah. his you know body what it feels right. Yeah, his body won't let him hit the shot until it's ready. And he finds that he just gets into that movement of like recreating it and then you'll see him do two which are like really quick and then he goes. Mm. So you can kind of tell if you were the camera, if you're the director or the camera team, you're like, oh, he's getting to the, po oh, there's the quick one, cut to Harmon, and then he hits and the shot. Go. Yeah. So I know your, yours, used, yours used to be you lifting the club off the, yeah, off yeah, the yeah. ground would like trigger the swing. I've kind of got into a place where I now have to like take my head away to like, there's always something. His just happens mm. to take much longer to <laughs> kick in. You do like a right angle. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is, that is. I'm like, you give the ball the side back. <laughs> I've told him as well now. Um, he's banned from hitting in the simulator. Just told him that. He's got a hit from grass now for the next two weeks. Who? He's not. He's not him. He's Spr not allowed. Sprayed it around for me. He's not allowed. Awful. Oh really? More hozzles than centers. Yeah. Oh dear. Yeah. He's That's not allowed not to hit in the sim. Hmm. Not letting him. I'm scared of the grass. <laughs> <laughs> it's understandable. It, it all's going to take time to ease back into it. Just get on the grass. You'll be fine, mate. Don't yeah. you worry about Was it. Was that yeah. first, second round? Do you? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, second round of the year. It's, round. it's you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's winter golf. We're just coming out yeah. of it. It's, it's all the same. Yeah. But, you know. Let's be honest. We've not really had, if you've been in the, we've been obviously lucky enough to travel, but if you've been based in the UK for this winter, the, your chances to play golf have been pretty limited. Mm -hmm. Correct. Especially in the Northwest. Um, <laughs> did, did, did any of you, um, almost get hit by Pete hitting a golf shot this time you went on a trip and filmed him? No, Kieran got almost taken out a few times uh, on the green. Or was it you, Jacob? I mean, it was probably me if I uh, was on the green. Ne never by me. We few people we play with are a little bit less accurate than me. Oh God, <laughs> must be such a hard life. I don't. Stop. I don't remember thinking I'm going to get hit. Did I? Max Homer almost killed someone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, didn't come that close. Fortunately, that was. That was flinch worthy. Yeah. That's, I call my parents straight away and tell them how much I love them, how close that was. <laughs> I'm having like, I feel like I've got away with something there. Have you, have you had a referred near death experience from yeah. watching that? Clip? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. But I don't understand. Like, he must have, he or she must have had the phone up like that because it went so, cl so close over the thing. Surely his head must have been here. You know from, I mean? from the angle, it, it, must have it been is very high. close. It's, he kind of has it, 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 yeah, it's sort of maybe like chin height. Yeah. He sort of has it even here. And then I'm still thinking you're still going to get the top of the, yeah. top of it, the head it, it or something like that. Really close. Mm. It's very, very close. If you've cool. not seen that clip, um, basically Max Home is hitting out the trees. He's going for, uh, I, I don't really know what gap he's going for, but it certainly think, wasn't do that do one. Do you think that's what, he didn't mean to hit it there. No, his his no, alignment no. is weird though. It does look like he's kind of yeah, I, he, heading in that very populated direction. I, I kind of feel that if he was aiming there, he probably would have told them to step back. Move back, yeah. More than likely. But this ball has just whizzed so close. And he, he hit it well. Which angle did you see first? Uh, oh, that one. The one where it's the, the actual straight towards the, the camera. Yeah, from the phone. Yeah. I saw that one first. I was like, whoa. That's the one, if you've not seen it, go and watch that. Because yeah, it, yeah. it's, it is scary how close it was. And almost how cartoony the ball is like yeah. it just it doesn't feel real how it yeah. like fizzes past and the noise it makes the because it hits the tree behind him as well yeah. he was yeah. filming in 120 so it looked great <laughs> <laughs> like knew what was gonna happen yeah. we're gonna capture this um did you see that jay monaghan did the entire presentation with his hands in his pockets no what I, I, did you not see that i, I saw when he kind of came out he had a few booze he, he he did the entire presentation just Hands Cash. in his pockets. Yeah, jacket. Like he's wearing his, you know, like suited up or whatever. Just hands in his pockets. Winner is Scotty. He didn't, he didn't he look like he didn't <laughs> care. He had some talks to get back to. Yeah, it's true. That's to be, uh, to be fair, that's probably quite accurate. <laughs> I, I wonder if he had, uh, maybe just had some like, stress balls in his pocket. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been a tough time. I think he had money in his pockets. I mean, There's, okay, <laughs> listen, he's using like dollar bills as just like <laughs> wads. wads of them. <laughs> Or dollars, Benjamins. The Benjamins. Yeah. Benjamin Jenica, yeah. I think there's, the, I mean, this week there's been quite a few kind of players coming out and not exactly expressing a vote of no confidence, but certainly not hiding their displeasure mm -hmm. with his current tenure as commissioner. Uh, I, I, I think he probably will just about survive, but I think the pressure is on. 
now if there's but any more slip-ups. Do you think that someone else coming in does a better job? Or like, like, don't you still have to deal with all the same things? You have to deal with Liv and the you know, Piff money and players and Rory. and. I, I do wonder if someone else was to come in, if they would have done anything differently. Obviously, hindsight's a wonderful thing. I think it's probably more the communication mm-hmm. between him and the players. Because mm-hmm. like the, the PJ Tour is notionally, it's a player-led tour. And a lot of the players just feel that they've been completely frozen out of any decision-making process. And the the kind of chat at the top between where the people have the money has taken precedent over what they think the the tour should be. So I think that's where most of the dissatisfactions come from. And now, you know, no one really knows what's going on with Piff again because the PGA Tours had that investment. It again, it's all up in the air. But I, I think he's living on a little bit of living on thin ice. Thin ice, S- yeah. Standing on thin ice. Skating. Dan- skating on thin ice. Dancing on thin ice. Da- dance on thin ice, I think it is. I, think yeah, I, on, I don't know if any ice. of those are I right. think he's doing the cha-cha on thin ice. Right, got okay. you. I do the cha-cha, cha-cha like yeah, a sissy right. thing. I think, Treading. Wa- I think it's walking. Isn't walking? It? It's just walking on thin you're ice. You're on thin ice. You're on just, thin just thin on thin ice. ice. You're just on it. You're, you're not doing anything particular. You can decide what you want to do, but you're on it. It's on snatch. You're on thin ice, my pedigree champ. And there's, and there's, a, reference. And there's yeah. a film reference that you need to go and watch that. Oh, we're branching into Guy Ritchie films. <laughs> yeah. Oh, actually, have you seen The Gentleman on Netflix? No. Go and watch it. There's yeah. a great golf scene episode. Oh, what, the series? Yeah. No. Yeah, so the new Gentleman series. There's a scene where that thing that David has showed you from Foot Joy, that is this person. Right. Have you seen the thing? That he, okay, get him to show you later. It's amazing. They've done a ball flying through the air and you're seeing the ball from the ball's perspective. Okay. It lands on the green and then the two characters from the thing both putt. <laughs> they like line up to the ball and you're like, don't look right. And then they cut away just as they hit the butts and it cuts to a close up. Someone else. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Oh God, I love it. It's someone else's feet, someone else's hands. Ball goes towards the hole. Dear like, me. God, you could have done that so much better. Hire people who know what they're doing. So not wor- not worth a watch. No. Right. Well, no, the show's very no, good, but the no, golf, the golf no. scene was hilarious. Yeah, it's a big hot I, take. I, I, I want to talk about my favourite story of the week. If okay. I say the name Ben Silverman, do you know who I'm talking about? Um, Sarah Silverman's husband. Correct. No. Oh. Uh, he was uh, the gentleman, the golfer, who had to hole out from 109 yards to make the cut at the players. Did you see this? No. Have you not seen this? So on the second day, because of the bad light, he decided to mark his ball and walk off and come back the next day. However, to make the cut, he had to hold that shot that he just marked, which was 109 yards out to the green. So he came back next morning and solely hit 54 degree wedges for about an hour, hitting this shot over and over and over and over and over again. And his caddy's pumping him up. We got it, buddy. They've got like a sound check of like, I think they even mic'd him or had were with him as he was doing it. Come on, let's go make it work. Goes. Misses the green. <laughs> <laughs> Literally misses the green. Puts, puts it in the rough on the right and uh, has to then chip. I think I don't actually know if he made par. I don't, I don't know why. After that point, it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. So there's a story in the Nick Fowler's autobiography about, I'm pretty sure it's his autobiography or someone's telling a story about him. I think it was the Volvo Masters in like yeah, my Sweden, favorite. something yeah. like that. But they had a hole in one hole and he practiced for weeks on those yardages to try and get this car and he like <laughs> and he was like within a foot every round big volvo didn't, wow. win, it. didn't win it but yeah. he was like so focused god Unbelievable. It, i mean obviously to hole out from 109 yards is a it's a bit of an ask good yardage though yeah. well, it's, it's a in great, the fairway it was in the fairway yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's a great, it's yardage a great yardage oh yeah. it's just great oh. a little three quarter behind the pin bit of spin. I that's a done full it. 52 just, for me it just would have been nice <laughs> if he could have hit the green <laughs> Yeah, that was at least the, give us some hope. Hit the pin. What's yeah, wrong with it, you? it would have been cool if like the caddy attended the pin. <laughs> I remember <laughs> yeah, when uh, Mickelson. No, I was, gonna, I was about to say. I remember Mickelson. He was. I can't remember what the event was. Welsh Fargo or something like that. Um, and he attended the pin and it just missed on the left hand side. Oh god, I remember it. Yeah, that's that's, so some, that's some baller stuff right there, isn't it? Yep. You're going to need to stand there that because it's going it's going real yeah, close. Yeah, yeah. It's so it's so good. I love it. Talk Let's about see. tour player. Show do a guest player. Yes. Hello and welcome back to the 2024 Rough Cut Open. This is the game where your knowledge of golf history is more important than your ability to actually hit the ball. How the game works. At the end of each episode, I describe the life and career of a famous golfer, and after each clue, these accomplished professionals write down who they think it is. However many hints it takes them to get home is how many shots they took on that hole. So, 
If you get a par five after just four clues, you would finish that hole in one under par. Here are the current standings. Let's rejoin the players as they tee off. Yes, let's do it. Welcome to Guess the Player. The um, the new intro that I'll record now, once we've finished the recording, I'll record a new one so that you can put it in over the top of the thing. Good luck. Okay. Well Someone remembered the paper. Someone remembered the car. Someone remembered the paper. Right, let's embarrass myself again. Funny how, where are we? <laughs> Crows a circle. They know you're going to fail on this par four. Spies from Dunman. <laughs> Hide! <laughs> par four. Crabine, actually, he says, from Sorry. Dunman. Sorry. Cro Crobine? Crabine? Crabine. 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 C-R-A-B-A-I-N. Crabine. Yeah. Crabine. Crabine from Dunman. Hide! Dunlin. Hide! Yeah. Um, that's another Lord of the Rings reference for you. Yeah. Um, now, you may notice that many of us have got these very handsome rough-cut stickers um, on our laptops, um, adorning them beautifully. If you would like one of these, get me self. <laughs> put put it in the comments, and we'll get Pete, we'll get, get Pete me, to sort some out for us. Do it yourself. Yeah, um, <laughs> they're really cool. So we're we're we're, we're hoping to have some more. I don't know which one I like point. more because you've left a bit of the apple like leaf there. Over this yeah. one, whoever this is, hasn't. I think I quite like. I like that yeah. one. Yeah. How many attempts did that take me to get it that straight? Twice. Three. Straight away. Okay. Well done. Okay, shot number one. You're playing a puffle. Puffle. You're playing against Jamie K from the Discord. Hi, Jamie. Hey, um, Jamie. He had a little bit of spotty reception, but um, he, he played very well. So we played very well. Where, where was he from? Um, I didn't get all that information because he, in, the reception was so terrible right. that I barely got the, the players that uh, he was going to say, you sure he said the right name? Yeah. yeah. He, I made them write him, made him write them in the chat. Was yeah. it? Oh, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah. I'm going to say Wales <laughs> as a guess. He sounded like he was from around here. Around here. Somewhere. Mm. Spot reception because he was Googling in between everything. Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. Jamie. No wonder he did so well. I mean, uh, <laughs> shot number one. Okay. This player attended Scripps Ranch High School. It's not a real place. <laughs> you know all the high schools, do you? It's not a real place. You know every high school in the world. Scripps Ranch. That's from Saved by the Bell, isn't it? This player... <laughs> <laughs> Great <run. laughs> This player attended Scripps Ranch High School. So I'm guessing this isn't a drivable par four then. Well, you might hold on the next one. You'd have to get on the green to do that. Unbelievable. Scripps you know what? Ranch. You don't even give us a chance to hold it. Scripps Ranch. It's a par four. Second shot, you might get on the green if you're lucky. Depends how you hit this one. Well, I've let fly, but yeah, let it rip. Kieran's still fiddling. He's he's harmoning right now. He's wiggling. Yeah, he's got a lot of wag. He's 19 waggles deep. Just like you hit one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps looking him down for his paper though. <laughs> Puts the pen down, picks it back up. Puts the pen down, picks it back up. Shot number two. One of this player's great grandfathers, Johann Hoffman. Played for the Austrian national football team. He also won multiple Austrian, Bohemian, and French national football titles. One of this player's great grandfathers, Johann Hoffmann, played for the Austrian national football team. He also won multiple Austrian, Bohemian, and French national football titles. Bohemian. Like, Bohemian, what does that mean? Rhapsody. Right. Sorry. Yeah. They play golf while they sing Queen songs. It's really good. <laughs> Football, I mean. Everyone taking a shot? Yeah. Have you all just put down an Austrian golfer? No. No, no, no. Although, we know you wouldn't hand it to us. I have. <laughs> <laughs> good. We all also know that Bernd Wiesberger has been done before, so. The Wies. Yes. Um, shot number three. Well done. Thank shot you. number three. <laughs> have you reckon you've folded it? What? Do you reckon you've folded No. Oh. oh. Okay, I thought you were... I'm looking for a bit of the green on this one. Right, okay. <laughs> Shot number three. This... You sound like you're writing over there. Sorry, I can hear you in my headphones. Sorry, just... He's gone for an interesting tactic. He's doodling. Trying something before he's heard the quiz. I'm going to let you come back and mark your ball and play it tomorrow. Shot number three. This player accumulated a collegiate record that features 27 top tens. Of these, 19 were top fives, with four of them being runners-up, and three wins from a total of 50 tournaments. 
When he turned pro in 2015, he was ranked in the top 10 on the world amateur rankings. This player accumulated a collegiate record that features 27 top 10s. Of these, 19 were top fives, with four of them being runners up and three wins from a total of 50 tournaments. When he turned pro in 2015, he was ranked in the top 10 on the world amateur rankings. I'm going to stay. Sticking? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to stay. Kieran hasn't written anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's still thinking. <laughs> He's, uh... He's lost his tea. Did you lose your tea? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm still looking for it. Yeah. Um... Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it, it must have been, it's a blind birdie putt. Can't see the bottom of the pit. Okay. Talking of Brian Harmon, I... Did you write down Brian Harmon? First I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, um... So you've got Harmon on? No. Well, unless what? I've just told the answer. Uh, on the 16th, on the last round yesterday, mm. we obviously were talking about his wiggles. I counted, and it was 27 seconds, that he approached the ball, wiggled, stepped off, and then got back into the ball, wiggled, and hit it to about 40 foot from about 119 yards. And that was the, that was the straw for me. That was too much. Yeah. That was the one that broke the camel's back. Yeah. I don't, I don't mind taking that long if you're really close. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. If you go stiff it, okay, cool. Yeah, take as long as you want. I think it's a bit different. Like, that long as well. Like, 27 seconds actually isn't that long in the grand scheme of life. However, <laughs> because, no. he's, because he's not, because he's doing the same thing. Like, if he took that long in his process and it was like a step in, he looked back, through the grass up, all the rest of it. He could put, oh, it's just preparing. But because he does that and then... The extra 27 seconds. Yeah, it's like he's glitching or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Needs to update his software. <laughs> it's, be- it's better than having someone else read your putts for you. Wyndham Cl- Clark, Clark, you big cheat. <laughs> 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 he's kind of just... I, he's, and, and with a wedge in hand every time. I don't... Mm-hmm. And it, like sometimes his ball isn't marked. Mm. Like, it gives must, that a little nudge. It mm-hmm. gives it a little... Oh. Um, actually, I looked up the rules because I thought this was going to come up. Um... If anyone else causes the ball to move, who isn't the player, you're actually allowed to replace it for no penalty. Oh, well, his caddy should give it a little twitch, like send it yeah. towards the hole a bit. Yeah, hit it. And no, it broke left. You have oh. to replace. Oh, yeah. oh sugar, yeah. Don't think about the break. Yeah. yeah. Um, no, <laughs> no other person should address the ball, in my opinion. Yeah. Well, there was a whole thing, wasn't there, about in on the ladies' tour, they had a lot of their caddies like lining them up and that got taken away yeah, and stuff. Yeah. So. yeah. It should be about the player. I was like, Pete would be a pro by now because we've got bloody cameras. <laughs> <laughs> he would just go to the left, yeah. to the left. Sorry, this, got, this has got a level on it, so I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. Just imagine. That'd be amazing. Anyway. Shot number four, tap in for par. If you don't get it on this one, you're going to be over par for this hole. Shot number four. In August 2021, this player became the first American since 1900 to win a very prestigious sports accolade, running rings around the competition. He shot 67 in the final round of the tournament to win by one shot. In August 2021, this player became the first American since 1900 to win a very prestigious sports accolade, running rings around the competition. He shot 67 in the final round of the tournament to win by one shot. I I I think I've done it. (sighs) I'm, I'm really annoyed. I think I've done it. You're always annoyed. That, I could have had an eagle. I've, oh. So that's, that I is annoying. I, I think I've got an eagle. That is annoying. <sighs> that's, that, that, and now I feel your pain. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I feel like quite often you come off the par part and you go, I'm really annoyed. Mm. But yeah, I should have had an eagle. You should have had an eagle. Yeah. Shot number five for your bogey. If you haven't got it, you're in trouble. Shot number five. This player, be, what, did you get one? No, I yeah, put some in there. You wrote one down. Yeah, okay, good. Good lord. <laughs> <laughs> the distinct lack of confidence. He's yipped that part. Oh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Got it. I bet it goes in. Shot number five. This player beat Nikolai Hoygaard in his 2024 Ryder Cup Sunday singles match, finishing the tournament with a record of one, three, and zero. Shot number five. This player beat Nikolai Hoygaard in his 2024 Ryder Cup Sunday singles match. Finishing the tournament with a record of one, three, and zero. Cool. Right or fold, boys? Come on now. I'm, I folded. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've, I've picked my ball out. I'm waiting on side of green. I, I think. Right. I think I've picked my ball out. I don't like to be too confident. You don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to go. I've got it, and then mess it up. Well, I'm ready to go. You're ready to go. Um, so you, the worst you can get on guess a player is double bogey. So 
If you didn't get it on that one, you double bogey. Shot number six. An addition. What happened there? Really Whoa. Really Whoa. Really oh, really really can, really can we have a rules official? Can we have a rules play? official? What's yeah. going on? A bit on of slow here? play. What oh. shot was that? That's five. Wow. Well, I had actually started the <laughs> <I> had started, <laughs> started the finish. This is this is okay, you know what? Fine. Get down to the comments. Let us know whether Kieran should get that very shot or not. No, I mean you might not be right. He might have double crossed himself by accident. Shot number six. An additional point, if you can spell his name correctly, first try. Today's golfer is Xander Shoffley. Yeah. Right, so you are going to write it down. Well done, by the way. Did, did you eagle it? I eagled it. Oh, good man. Excellent. Jacob was the winner of the hole yes. because the Discord doubled it. Oh, wow. So well I done. Won. You got a point. <gasps> I won. Great work. Okay, so but without looking at each other's papers, for an additional point, write down Xander Shoffley's full name. If you spell it correctly, you can have an extra point. Can I... Do I have to keep mine how I how I did? No, it? you can, oh, write I can have it. another Yeah, because yeah. you may have just written Xander or uh, X. No, I, I did or do the full name. Okay, if you think that's right, you can have it. Uh, oh, Pete's struggling. I love it. It's great. Ask him to do a spelling test, by the way. <laughs> you real, yeah. <laughs> you real Pete to real work. Show it to the world, yeah. <laughs> All right, well done. <laughs> Lovely move. Yeah. I'm going to stick with how I've got it. It's particularly hard to spell, so. Yeah, I think. No idea. It's it's only two letters that I'm questioning. Okay, then pass on. My mic's been off. Here we go. Right, pass us your papers. Oh, that's, that's, that looks pretty good. Pete. This is, I oh, will do Jacob last. Peter Finch. Xander, spelled correctly. Thank you. Well done, sir. Um, With a Z, yeah. Cool. Shoffle spelled incorrectly. Ooh. What did I get wrong? You went, no, I'm going to tell you what you got wrong in a minute. You went S C H A U F F L L E. No, one L. One L? Yeah, one L. -E. It's still, still incorrect. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I made three L's. <laughs> <laughs> Kieran has. Um, Spelled Xander correctly. Well done. Well done. I know. God, it was the fifth shot, by the way, as well. It was that one. Yeah. But I didn't have time to write a selling. So okay. Um, he's gone S C H A U one F L E L E. Yeah, you did too 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 many L's as well. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> <laughs> one F and too many L's. L E L E L E. I think you can see where I struggled in school. <laughs> Hitting a draw. Yeah. Jacob Broadbridge for Eagle. Xander, spelled correctly. Shoffle, S-C-H-A-U-F-F-E-L-E -E for an additional point. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I mean, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm really happy for you, but I don't think at the outset of this game, like, our golfing abilities were going to be extra rewarded by the ability to spell. <laughs> yeah, I <I'm> more spelling. <laughs> Absolute joke. The only reason is because as I went to write his name down in my spreadsheet, in which I keep all of the guests, the players um, f from last season and this season, I went to write his name down and I thought, hold on. <laughs> and I went, I went onto a, into a new cell each time I tried to spell it and it took me 11 cells <laughs> <laughs> to, get it right. to spell his name correctly. <laughs> so well done, Jacob gets, Thank you. Jacob gets two points oh, today. Um, back in the game. The current standings, I believe, are Discord 5, Peter 4, Jacob now 2, Kieran not 2. <laughs> two, 2 minus two. 2. Not 2, not 2. Not 2. Um, not excellent two. work. Well done, everyone. K Kieran's kind of turned into Phantom of the Open right now. I got to, well, I've got, the thing is, right, I try to feed him. <laughs> I'll also, like, try to feed him some help in some ways. Like, it, it will be a player that we've spoken about in the car on the way here, or it will be... You know, and he's still, he's so in his head that he just can't, can't can I, quite can do I it. Can I also just say, and other players can get, but as maybe a spokesperson, I thought that was a very good hole. I thought that was a good round, that. Some yeah. good good questions. What I really liked... Coming from the guy who eagled it. No, but what, 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 what I really liked, <laughs> what I really liked was the run rings around. Yeah, I thought that was good. That was good. Okay, so did you know what that clue was? 
I'm assuming, well, because he's Olympic champion. Yeah, so he won the Olympics, yeah, yeah. which is why I it was an esteemed oh, sports I, accolade. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. he ran rings Things. around the competition. What, what I'm really annoyed I enjoyed about that. is that I got the eagle. And then when you said the the college career and stuff, mm. you said 2015, you say. He yeah. came pro, yeah. Yeah, I was like, it seems like he's been around for a lot know, longer doesn't than that. It? But yeah. that's also nine years ago now. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Which yeah. is horrific <laughs> to think about, by the way. Is it? Yeah. See the, the so I got the eagle off the Austrian yeah yeah yep. isn't but isn't his dad German? I thought his dad was German. So that's yeah. what in my head. But I just thought, well, there's got to be his dad. His, if his great his dad grandmother. was going to compete in the Olympics in the decathlon. Yes. but it was in a car crash. Yeah, I remember the whole thing because so, every t every round, I think they mentioned yeah. it. Like, yeah, oh, yeah. he's living his dad's yeah yeah, yeah. So dream both, essentially. Both of his great grandfathers, one of his great grandfathers was uh, like high level athlete mm. national champion 15 different disciplines or something loads of medals and the other one played in the austrian national football team and as you do won loads of national trophies as well so there you go a good good sports family yeah oh, dude <laughs> the genes are good the genes are real good well there you go so after that i'm going to look back into the lineage of my family tree to try and find someone who was good at sports <laughs> at some point I thought it was actually pretty good at football. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Uh, Long well, look. I can see that. <laughs> yeah. I've done that. That's done. I'm done. Okay, cool. Right, guys. I just want to say a huge thank you for watching and a huge thank you for listening if this is beaming directly into your eardrums. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel so far, make sure you do follow us on all our social media platforms. And <laughs> next week, we've got the Brian Bros. And then potentially the week after, we could be having a little bit of a new look behind us. But we will wait and see because it could take a little bit longer than anticipated and I'm rambling on. I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>